As we've mentioned before, there are different forms that a quadratic function can be written in. The two most common we spoke of in the past, which is standard form, where um, you have an x squared term, an x term, and a constant, and vertex form, where you can see the vertex from the h and the k. There is a third form called factored form. I haven't covered this much so far, um, but it does come up occasionally but not always, because as we know from factoring trinomials, sometimes you can factor them, sometimes you can't. So factored form is mainly gonna be useful when you can factor standard form. It turns out if you can factor the um, polynomial involved in the quadratic function, then what you get are factors that give you the x-intercepts. So x minus r, if you were to set it equal to zero, would give you um, r as an x-intercept. So you'd have r0 as an x-intercept and s0 as an, another x-intercept. So in factored form, you can actually see the x-intercept show up. But this form, as I said, is not going to come up as often because not all trinomials are going to factor. So I'm going to concentrate in this series of videos on standard form and vertex form and how to move back and forth, how to convert from one to the other, because that's really useful. As we know, the vertex is hugely important in terms of graphing and understanding applications. So um, it's really nice to be able to find that vertex when you have standard form. But we're gonna look at going back and forth because these are the two most common forms that a quadratic function will take.